So I'm recording the webinar. I'm going to upload this later to our YouTube channel. And Neil's question again was, how do you attach a file like a PDF to an article which people can then download? And we're going to use this 2.5 site. So let's go to, let's do it right in this main article here, the Welcome to the Bistro. I think first I've got to shut off some of these things in my, my article. I've got way too much showing there in the article manager. In the back end of the site, I need to get to that article manager first and just open up article options. You see I'm showing all of those things. I'm going to hide them all. Let's show, show. I'm going to, I'm going to show this too. I'm going to say no or hide to get all of those ugly things out of that article. Just too much. I'm going to leave the read more to show, but hide everything else. And let's save. And now, if I return to the front, I'm going to refresh, and all of this will be gone. I hope. That's much better. So let's add in that PDF link. Now, you can do this a, a number of ways. I'm going to show you how to do it without using any type of core or any type of extension. But then we're going to go look for the embed PDF plugin, where you can embed a PDF so it's viewable. And then there, I think there's a download option as well. So in the back end, I'm going to save and close this area. Let's open up that Welcome to the Bistro article right here. And I am going to um, use the full screen mode. Let's just go down here and I'm going to type in View PDF. Okay, I'm going to make this a link. I'm going to highlight the link and go to this little button in the JCE editor. This is the image manager. Okay. Open this up and I believe, let me see, did I put that PDF in here already? I did not. I believe what I can do is go to this browse button now and I'm going to browse my computer for a file. And I should, in my webinar images, I believe I have a sample PDF ready to go. So I'm going to select that PDF. Oh, not supported. I think i got to do a different step here. Um, I don't want to add a file. I'm going to cancel. And I'm going to minimize this. And I'm going to save and close. I should be able to do that through the JC editor. Actually, I'm going to go back. I should be able to do this right here. Let me just try to remember. I think my step is here. Nope. Jen, feel free to jump in anytime. I know I can go right to the image manager or the media manager to do this. I thought there was a way to get this in here through the right. JCE. Yes, there is. You want to actually uh, cancel out of here and you want to insert edit link. So click on the little Oh, link that's right. Button. Not yeah. an image, of there. course. Right, it's not an image, it's a document. Right. Right. So we'll click on the link button. Right. And so yeah. here's our content. And then click on the little file. Yeah, here's our content already. I'm going to click on this button here to browse yep. my computer. And so this gets me to kind of the same place where my image manager was, but I'm going to go to this button here to upload that file. And then browse my computer. I knew I was close, Jen. Let's select the PDF and upload, and then it appears in the list. I'll select the name here and insert. And so here I get my, it's in my images folder, which, you know, you might want to be a little bit more organized than that, but that's fine. Uh, I can even have my target open up into a new window if I'd like. So let's insert that, and then let's save the article, I'll return to the front end and refresh. And here's my new view PDF link. I uploaded that PDF to my site. So if I click on that, needs I, I need to update my Adobe, but here's my sample PDF. All right. However, you know, that works. And that, that definitely works. A lot of people like to embed PDFs um, so they're, you can kind of view them. I want to give you an example on our site. I'm going to go to cloudaccess.net. And just so you know, under training here, if you go to Joomla Knowledge Base, we have many um, 
articles on how to learn uh, Joomla 2.5, 3.0, hundreds of articles here, and our support team is working fever feverishly to update articles for Joomla 3.0. I'm actually going to go to, let's see, where did we have an embed PDF? Let me go to Joomla 3.0, no, sorry. I'm going to go to additional resources. Just trying to remember where an article was that had the PDF embedded. I'm going to go to front end optimization. And this was an article that was added by one of our developers. And I think this is just the article. Here's the presentation where we he created a PDF and we embedded it just like this. So it's viewable and we can scroll through the contents of the PDF file. And this is using a plugin. I'll show you how to get this plugin um, by going to the extensions directory. We'll go to extensions.joomla.org. And if you've never been here, this is the place where you'll really unlock the true power of Joomla. There are over 10,000 extensions available in the community. Uh, you can browse the different categories here on the left can see some random new extensions or some popular extensions. I'm going to go search for, I think it's called Embed PDF. I think that's what it was called. Or maybe Embed. Embed PDF. And so there's, so what we'll see is a list of results. And there's Embed Google Docs Viewer. We get 1.5. This is supported in all versions of Joomla. Um, this is a non-commercial extension. I don't think this is the one we used before, though, was it, Jen? No, I, I'm not sure which one you were using before. I want to think it. I want to think it's this one, and this is ready for 2.5. Yeah. Something's telling me it's this one. I'm just going to browse through. Notice that some of them are commercial. Okay, where you'll spend some money. This is also a component, a really large piece of software. And let me just scroll through. Now, you want to try the. You want to try this one, Jen? Yeah, if that's one. I also noticed the one on the very bottom that mm -hmm. you, when you were scrolling through those, looks like it was uh, available for 3.0 as well. I don't know. It's non-commercial. It is. Uh, it's just a plugin, not a component, not even a module. Yeah. We're going in a 2.5 site. You want to just try it? Yeah, we can try. And it'd be interesting to see if it works for 2.5 to try it out on the 3.0 one as well. It would be. So let's go ahead and take a look. It's non-commercial, as Jen mentioned, ready for all versions. I always like to go to the bottom to see reviews. That's where I go first. Those look pretty good. Those look pretty good. Let's demo click on that demo button there you can hopefully get an example of what it looks like so here is is this an embedded PDF it must be huh that looks like yeah a Joomla article and then one the one below is a remote page cool embedding a remote page and then it has instructions on how to use it so, having never used this one, let's give it a shot. Of course, if you're going to purchase something, make sure you can contact the developer. They have a website. There's documentation and support. We're going to go ahead and download. And this is a free extension. That's great. So it looks like one plugin for all versions of Joomla. Let's get this. I'll put this in my downloads folder with the rest of them and save it. We'll start with 2.5. Let's save and close the article and we'll go to our extension manager. We're going to choose the file to install. Go to my downloads and it's right here. I believe. Nope, it's right here. Should have cleared these out before but this is the right one. Downloaded today. Select and install. And so we get the green message. The plugin 
has some documentation. You click here to get some help. However, if you install a module, okay, you're going to want to go extensions module manager to view it. If you go to if you install a component, it should appear in this list. If you install a plugin like we did, go to extensions plugin manager. We should be able to view that, and it's right here. Edocs embed documents. Wait, we installed a different though, different one though, Jen. Didn't we? We didn't do Edocs. Yeah, that wasn't the one. This is the one I must have done before. Yeah. So let's display all. Oops, scroll all the way down here. Let's display all plugins. It was called the ARI Docs Viewer. Let's try to find it. Let me know if you see it. Chat. Right there. Where? Under system. Under right under cloud panel. Here we go. Cool. And typically by default these are not enabled. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. And I'm gonna enable it. And look at some of the different options here. So it looks like it's embedding it in an iframe. What are the other options from the drop down? Google Docs, Soho Docs. Hmm. Hmm. Should we try Joomla article? We don't want to yeah. embed another Joomla article. We want to embed a PDF. Very strange. Right. What would you suggest here, Jen? Well, um, let's try. I mean, let's try the iframe because that seems like the logical choice okay. to embed. Let's save. I'm just going to click here for some instructions. Should take me back. Oh, maybe not. Any format, okay. Um, any format. It shows PDFs. Keep scrolling down okay. to the bottom. There was another link. Okay. Google Docs your Zoho. Okay. No, not Zoho. Here, okay, PDF. Okay, so this is located here. Right, it's ask, it's giving you the path. So here it's giving you Oh, see, they're using the Zoho engine. I wonder if you have to put in engine. See, there you're saying Zoho. Here's the, here's the one that's showing Google. Um, Should I try this and just replace it, this part, with our yeah. URL from our Yep. Okay. So copy that, but you may have to retype it. Or you'll just have to embed it using the HTML view. Yeah. I'm going to put it in Notepad here to get rid of any formatting that may have come with that. I'll copy that again. And so that's that's an iframe. So I'm going to come right, back. Right, we chose iframe. Yeah, so I'm going to come back to my article manager and we'll go to that article. But because it's iframe, I'm going to want to toggle the source code here. Yeah. Let's expand this a bit. Just going to put it down here and paste that in. Um, let's go to the front page. Shouldn't I be able to get my URL right here, Jen? Yep, yep, that's exactly what it is. So let's copy that. Go back to the back end. And then I'd... You'll want to keep the HTTP in the two forward slashes. Okay, and then paste. Yep, unless you copy. Let's see, it might... Oh. Oh, yep, it's in there twice. Sorry about that. That's okay. So, let's save. and then return to the front and refresh. Well, it looks like we're loading and there, there it is. However, our width is off and there was a setting in there. Did you see that? Yep, you can change the setting. So it was right actually within the path. So Right.
It was in the it was in the plugin and the path, I think. Yes. So you can set if you change it in the in the plugin, then that's the default width mm -hmm. uh, for anything. And then you can and then if you want it different than the default, then you can set it specifically in the path. So if you actually removed it from the from the path itself that you inserted, then it probably would auto take the default size. Right. Okay. We'll just call this 500, but let's do what Jen said first, and just take width out. Yeah, because you said in the plugin it was the, we were able to set the default width. Let's save. Let's see if it by default it will. Just go the width of the article. That looks a little bit better, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I kind of like it. I mean, I only had some content, a little bit of content in there. but. Right, and you see how it's being powered by Zoho? Uh -huh. So I wonder, let's go back in and change that to Google. Uh, in the plugin? Nope, right here. Uh, in the path, see where it has engine equals? Yeah. Just Google? Yep. What's the point of that? Well, it gives you the option to change to have it be displayed using Zoho or using ah. Google Docs. So now this is a Google Doc. Very nice. So. And so we set the default to be an iframe. So I'm wondering if we take that out altogether, it would just display it in a regular standard iframe. So you can see this the view is different because this is now being rendered as a Google Doc. Mhm. Mm so go back into your into your article again. Yep. And then take out the engine equals altogether. The whole thing and just leave the the ARI doc. There. And what's this going to do? Well, by default, remember in the plugin, we had it set to be an iframe. So here, so now it's saying that it's out of date. So it looks like it's using, it's running on either Zoho or Google, and you have to yeah. there. So see, this is just I just needed to, it's just a regular Adobe PDF, so I just needed to update right. Right, a regular Adobe PDF displaying in an iframe. So by default in the plugin, we could have it set to render as or be displayed either using Zoho or the Google Doc. And then we wouldn't have to put that in. We wouldn't have to put that engine in the in that little snippet. Right. So here where it says viewer engine, so you can choose I wonder what the Joomla article is. Yeah. Yeah, we can play around. There's a lot of experimenting we can do. I was more interested to see if they had a um, show download link here, which they do, which is always a nice feature. So let's enable that. And then return to the front end and refresh. And there should be a download link here somewhere now. I, st I need to update Adobe. That happens every time. And so... I think this comes default with Adobe, but you can download here. Yeah. Anyway, that's yeah, pretty good. It's interesting. Yeah. It's neat that it gives you the different platforms, too. Yeah. Well, Neil, I hope we answered your question. I We did record that, and I'm going to go ahead and post that video to our YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash cloud access. And I'm going to do that later today. Okay, so... Um, this will remain the featured video, but uh, we'll up to upload um, some other videos here lately, or I mean, uh, kind of continuously. I'm going to stop the recording at this point.